Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Alicia Menendez. I'm joined today by Amy Comstock Rick. She is the CEO of the Parkinson's Action Network. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So Parkinson's, you know, there's still a lot that is not known about this disease. So tell me a little bit about the signs, the symptoms, and the communities that you tend to see it in. Well, we we estimate that about a million people in the United States have Parkinson's disease, and historically it was viewed as a purely motor symptom disease. People would notice a tremor in their hand or they begin to walk in a different, a slower manner. But we now understand actually that it appears to start much earlier than that and that the motor symptoms are a later stage of the disease, but maybe the first time a person really feels the changes. Uh, but there's a lot of research that show earlier symptoms might be sleep dis sleep dis disruption, depression. Um, so we're, you're right, though, there's still a lot we don't know about this disease, and we need a lot more research. So, you know, the most famous person, I think, who's spoken out on this is Michael J. Fox, mm -hmm. and he was diagnosed quite young. He is that unusual? Young. It is unusual, minority of cases, but about 10 or 15 percent of people are under 50 when they're diagnosed with Parkinson's, and it's a devastating disease at any age, but particularly when you're very young, it's a progressive disease, and it disrupts family, ability to, to earn a living. It is a highly, highly disruptive disease, and the end stages really are quite, quite uh, devastating. But there is good news. There's the Parkinson's Action Network, which That's has right. done amazing things in this last year. Tell me about some of your big legislative accomplishments. Sure. We had a very big year. Uh, we work on all public policy issues affecting Parkinson's. People are often surprised how much of Washington's work affects Parkinson's disease. But just one example for you is this year the Veterans Administration declared that veterans who have Parkinson's disease, if they were in Vietnam, it's now assumed that their exposure to Agent Orange uh, is connected to their Parkinson's oh, and they, they it's con con a service-related disability and it helps them with their benefits. That's very significant to us. Just one small example, but really important to really us. Really important, and I'm sure research is important as well, research funding for important. research. What's on the horizon there? Well, we are looking at a new Congress, like everyone else, with over 80 new members. And one of the things that's so important to us, and we're a little concerned about, is the role of biomedical research for all diseases, not just Parkinson's. Healthcare reform, the Affordable Care Act, really didn't focus at all on biomedical research. And there's so many diseases for which access to care is important, but our quality of care right now isn't enough. We don't have treatments. So we are very worried that in the coming years, make sure people focus not just on access to care for diseases for which there's treatments, but biomedical research for future treatments. And we're focused very much on funding for National Institutes for Health and for the Food and Drug Administration. Very important. Interesting. And where does your issue intersect with Social Security? Social Security disability, actually, for people who are under 65 mm -hmm. when they can't continue to work anymore. Um, people apply for disability under Social Security. They, we expect them to be relooking at their regulations for Parkinson's and other neurological diseases in the coming year. Very important because we've learned so much about the disease and how it interferes with one's ability to work. We want to make sure the government standards for assessing when one can't work anymore line up with what we really know about the disease. It seems like there are so many different fronts on which you're fighting because there is sort of this idea that you have to deal with the disease itself but then also deal with the fact that you have people are currently suffering. So if someone is at home and they have a family member who's dealing with this disease, what's your advice for them? My advice for them is to focus certainly on the person and what they need for their best care, but also get involved with the community. There's an exciting research community. Think about a clinical trial for your loved one mm -hmm. and give us a call. You reach out to us at www.parkinsonsaction.org and get involved in some of the issues that are in this, in this country that are really important to Parkinson's disease. And if people want to become involved with your organization very quickly, best way to do it. Best way to do it is go to our website or give us a call and we'll educate them about what the government is doing that affects them directly. People are often surprised at how much of an impact they can have. Thank you so much for joining us. If you want to learn more about what's going on in your community, you can go to On Demand and click Get Local. For Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Alicia Menendez.